Isang mo pagbalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Good day everyone. This is Brother Jonas for our Lockdown to Look Up series, your daily inspiration amid COVID-19 day 23. And it's very special because it's dedicated to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day po sa ating mga nanay, mommy, mama, kung ano man ang tawag niyo sa kanila. And uh, let's honor them. Ang pag-uusapan natin in our topic is this, the biggest lesser, lessons the biggest lessons I learned from my mother in our Bible verses from the book of Proverbs. Let your father and mother be glad. Let her, let her who bore you rejoice. And this is so powerful. Unang-una, gusto ko lang batin lahat ng nanonood. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. God bless everyone. Thank you so much sa walang supportang uh, pagmamahal. Just for a while, I'll just share this. Baka naman. <laughs> I hope that you are blessed. So far, nakapag-misa na rin kahit pa paano. And uh, I'm just so excited. Maraming magandang nangyari ngayon. Ikaw, anong kwentong blessings mo tonight? Anong mga bagay ang natutunan mo sa araw na ito? Anong mga bagay ang pinaka-pinagpapasalamat? What are the things that you are grateful for the day? And of course, meron tayong isang viewer. Happy Mother's Day to your mother, Coach. And Happy Mother's Day as well, Angel. You are blessed and uh, you know we're just so happy and glad na nagkakilala tayo. Maraming salamat. Ati Mel, happy Mother's Day. Mel from the Sultanate of Oman. Wala mang uh, anak na galing sa kanyang womb but alam ko maraming babies ito. Marami siyang mga tinutulungan ng mga pamangkin or relatives, mga pinapa, binibigyan ng allowance, pinapaaral. We're so proud of you. I think deserve mo pa rin na mother and deserve na deserve mo makareceive ng tinatawag na ng greetings na Happy Mother's Day. And kwentong short story lang about my life. Sa mga nakakakilala sa akin dito, sa mga nakabasa ng book ko, I've shared before kung paano ako pinanganak ng aking nanay. And I'm just so grateful with that story. You know, I really believe that it's powerful and it's just so amazing. And uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa ganung klase ng kwento na meron ako because of my mom. And anong kwento yon? Yun na nga. <laughs> alam ko, alam na ninyong lahat ito. Pinanganak po ako sa bangka, sa ilog, in the middle of a virgin forest on a small boat malapit before pa makarating sa bayan. So, ang kwento ni mama is like, ilang araw, one day, maybe two days, nagla-labor siya, nahihirapan na kung i-anak. <laughs> nahihirapan siyang mga anak. And a lot of them actually thought that mm, my mother will die. And pati na rin ako. So, habang nahihirapan nun sa baryo namin si mama, nagla-labor, my grandmother na paltera, nag-decide siyang Nag-decide silang dalhin si mama sa bayan para doon na lang siya mga anak. And what happened, siguro mga one hour ang travel time nila after just maybe 70% uh, percent ng travel time nila or maybe 45 minutes, ayun, hindi ako nakapaghintay. Pinanganak ako sa bangka. Sa gabi, hating gabi, siguro around 9, 10 p.m., pinanganak ako ni mama sa bangka. And uh, sobrang ganda ng kwento. Like I was thinking na, ano kayang, I was trying to go back to that place to that time, siguro around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., nag-labor, pinanganak ako, and then may ilog. And then, ang ginawa daw, ang nangyari pa is pagkapanganak ko, is another story from my mother is that hindi daw ako umihinga nung pinanganak ako. So parang ang alam nila patay na ako or whatsoever. Tapos yung mga auntie ko naman na nakasunod, na naglalakad, nung natanaw nila sa malayo na huminto yung bangka, na may ilaw lang, may lampara lang, they thought na namatay si mama. So yun ang inisip nila na parang bilisan mo na matay na si Ganto kasi nga tumigil na yung bangka. So yun ang alam nila. Sometimes in our lives we think, we, we overthink. You know? Sometimes we think that bad things are happening or bad things might come. Pero yung nangyari na yun, they were surprised. Lahat sila na surprised. Yung mga dumating, tinignan dun sa bangka, nakita nila ako. <laughs> and, and yung mga na, na, nag-assist nung mga anak si mama, na surprised din kasi ang alam nila patay na ako. Pero yung pala buhay pa. And so, anong ginawa nila? Naglakad sila pa akyat sa parang ma, pa, maisan na area. Nilakad nila yung naghanap sila ng isang bahay kubo or isang napakapayak na bahay para pumasok sila doon para magpahinga muna the whole night. And every time na namamasya kami nung bata ako na was a high, uh, elementary student, pupil, nakakatawa kasi yung dinadaanan namin yung party ng ilog na yon Yung dinadaanan namin yon laging tinuturo sa akin, doon ka pinanganak. <laughs> dinadaan namin papunta sa bayan doon ka pinanganak doon nag-labor si mama you know, wala lang I just love this story and one day 
isa sa pinaka sobra excited ako na gagawin ngayong nag-for good na ako sa Pilipinas is um, gusto ko umuwi doon. I wanna go home, visit my place. Ang pangalan po ng lugar ko is Palana ni Isabella. And gusto ko magkaroon ng photoshoot doon <laughs> na nasa bangka ako. Wala lang, sobrang na-excite lang ako. Feel ko talaga maganda at masaya yun. <laughs> Nakaka-amaze lang. Anyway, ito na. So, isa-isahin na natin. I wanna ask each and every one of you, okay? What is the biggest lessons or lesson you learned from your mother? Ayan. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin. Ayan. Nasa na screen na yan. Anong pinakamalaking natutunan mo? Anong pinakamalaking lessons or advice or just, you know, kahit hindi niya sinabi sa'yo, anything na na your, that your mad, mother modeled yung yung parang hindi man siya nagsasalita pero pinapakita niya yung characteristics ano kaya yon share mo dito at pag-uusapan natin niya highlight natin and pakisabi na rin yung pangalan ng mama mo para pasikatin natin let's honor your mother please kahit isa lang kahit sabi mo lang my mother tinuruan niya ako na magtipid sa sa pera ko maghawak ng maayos magbudget sa pera ko And then, happy Mother's Day to my mother. Chuchuchu yung pangalan niya. At ilalagay natin siya sa screen. Simple way of honoring your parents. Okay? Meron, uh, malinaw ba yun, Angel and Ate Mel? At sa mga nanonood, please, pakicomment na lang below. And I would love to um, read all your comments. Okay? So, simulan na natin. I'll be sharing five things, five biggest lessons I learned from my mother. And the first one is this. I learned the value of sacrifice. There are times in our lives wherein we need to do that. And alam mo kung paano ma-appreciate ito na tinatawag na sacrificio. You just look and observe the things that your mother is actually doing. Sacrifice. They sacrifice their sleep. They sacrifice their money. They sacrifice their personal time just to take care of you. They personal yung they, they sacrifice lahat ng mga bagay na sana nag-enjoy sila na sana nagre-relax ng gusto, but then they are still working so hard para alagaan ka, to take care of you, para mahalin ka. And uh, di ba pati sa pagkain, inuuna nilang iserve sa yung masasarap na parte ng karne ng mano o kaya ng parte ng, ng, ng isda, naiiwan sa kanila. There's, there's a story na parang, I remember parang sabi ng... Uh, sabi ng isang bata na ang sinishare daw nila na favorite na part ng mother niya is leeg ng manok. Yun ang pinaka-favorite daw na part ng nanay niya. And then they're wondering bakit yun ang favorite. Favorite niya kasi, kasi favorite lang. Okay? <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Baka gustong gusto lang niya. And then later they discover na sa mga bata kasi yun ang pinaka-list na gusto nila. So in order to give way, para mapagbigyan yung mga anak nila, yung mga mahal nila sa buhay, kinukuha nila yung pinakaayaw piliin, yung leeg ng manok. Kunwari, alam ko baka marami dito mahilig sa, mahilig sa leeg ng manok, but then <laughs> it's, it's um, I think, it's amazing na isipin natin yun na sometimes they really make a way na para suportahan tayo or para um, mas maipakita yung pagmamahal nila sa atin. Okay? So that's number one, the value of sacrifice. In your workplaces, sometimes we need to sacrifice. Sa, sa mga mahal natin sa buhay, sometimes kailangan natin masaktan, kailangan natin mahirapan ng konti, kailangan natin i-extend ang oras natin magtrabaho in order for us to receive bigger rewards. At sana yung isang model na natutunan ko sa mother ko. Anyway, just for a while, I'll just share this. Aha. Uh -huh. Para mapanood ng kaibigan ko. Ayan. Please, pakicomment na lang dyan kung uh, ano ang pinakamalaking lessons na natutunan ninyo. Ayun. That's amazing. Thank you. That's powerful. Okay. Happy Mother's Day, sabi ng isa. Anyway, just for a while. Isang mapagpalang araw sa'yo, Romar. Ito sa isa sa mga pinaka- You know what? I'm rooting for you and I honor you. So maraming salamat. Saglit lang, nag-share lang ko ng link. Baka lang may manood sa atin. Perfect. So that's number one. The first, okay? First is about the value of sacrifice. Another thing that I want to share to you is, second thing that I learned from my mother, yung pinakaunang nagmulat ng aking mga mata tungkol sa pananampalataya, tungkol sa paniniwala sa Panginoon. And I learned from her the, the, the faith yung, yung paniniwala sa Panginoon, the existence of God, hindi man ganun kalalim, pero siyang nagturo sa akin na mag-sign of the cross. Siyang nagturo sa akin that whenever I go to our, to the prop, to the town proper, pagdadaanan namin yung simbahan, siyang nag-encourage sa amin to stop and pray. And mula elementary ako, meron akong 
Like, um, I just love to go to the church and sit there and just relax and contemplate. Ilang beses, sobrang linaw sa akin nung elementary time ko na lagi ako sa simbahan, lagi ako pumupunta doon after ng klase, nakaupo lang, nagdadasal, nakikipag-usap sa Panginoon. Bata pa lang yun. Hindi man ganun kalalim ang relationship ko kay Lord. And I have so many questions in my mind. But during that time, I already started. Or I started my relationship and my journey. Kaya naging ganito ako. I became a preacher of a Catholic community. And every day of my life, in-incorporate ko na ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon. And, and sabi ko nga sa inyo, mawala na lahat sa akin, wag lang yung faith, wag lang yung pananampalataya ko. Nawala na yon one time. <laughs> Year 2011, naglaho na yon Pero I believe na sana, sana mag- mapagpatuloy na ganun pa rin yung pananampalataya at pininiwala ko sa Panginoon. Okay? Ulitin ko, sa mga gusto mag-share, Pwedeng i-type ninyo sa comment section anong biggest lesson na natutunan niyo sa mga magulang ninyo. Number two, ha, sa akin, number one is sacrifice. The value of sacrifice. Number two is uh, faith in God. And number three is, ito ang natutunan ko, it's all about self-concept that I am brilliant. That, you know what? Habang bata pa yung mga anak ninyo, yung mga kapatid ninyo, habang uh, toddler or five years old or six or seven or eight years old, sobrang importante ang affirmation. And yun ang isa sa pinakamagandang narinig ko, hindi lang sa mother ko, kundi sa parents ko talaga, is the power of affirmation. Halos hindi ko sila narinig na nilait ako or hinila ako pababa. Because there are parents who are like that. May mga naglalakad ako sa sentro one time, may isang mother doon naglalakad na hinihila yung anak niya, sinasabihan niya na, ang tanga-tanga mo talaga, may mga ganon. <laughs> but uh, alam niya, nakakalungkot yun. But then my parents, hindi minsan di ko narinig yan. Alam niyo kung narinig ko lagi sa magulang ko, especially sa mother ko, that I am brilliant, na magaling ako, na matalino ako. And yung pride sa mata niya, every time I achieve something, consistent honor student, when I graduated uh, in college uh, with honors, when I topped the licensure examination, when I graduated with my master's degree, and when I became an author, parang yung tinanim niya na seed sa aking puso, in my heart and in my mind, telling me, Jonas, you are brilliant. Yung, yung support niya sa akin, yung paniniwala niya sa akin, I just love that. And it influenced my life massively. I believe that one of the main causes, bakit naging ganito ako, is because of the affirmation. Wala akong choice kundi maniwala sa sarili ko because... My parents, especially my mother, believed in me so much without any, alam mo yun, well, kahit konti. Ang paniniwala niya talaga sa akin is magaling ako. Alam ko marami yung kahinaan. But then sometimes you keep on receiving that information. Proud of you. Sobrang proud sila sa akin. So parang wala na akong choice kundi panindigan. Ayan, mga trophies. <laughs> Silang nag-arrange dyan kanina. Nakakatawa lang, di ba? Proud na proud talaga siya. Hanggang ngayon, sobrang saya pa rin. Yung affirmation niya sa akin, love na love ko pa rin pakinggan. And minsan hindi man masyadong detail na mga sinasabi niya, pero just even one liner na, kaya ka binibless ni Lord kasi madasalin kang tao. Di ba? Mga ganun, tuwang-tuwa na ako doon. Or kinakalat niya sa mga kapitbahay namin ng achievements ko. <laughs> Kinukwento na nalalaman nila ng mga ibang tao. So that's the power of affirmation. Being a mother, dapat sila talaga yung parang number one supporter sa kanilang mga anak. And ngayon kasi baliktad na eh. Instead na try to reflect, uh, mother, number one supporter ka ba? Or number one ka ba na nangihila? Supposedly, a mother should be Uh, should affirm ang kanyang mga anak. Dapat nasasabihan lagi ng magaganda. Na-appreciate yung mga magandang ginagawa nila. do part pa ng discipline, pero importante na na-appreciate sila. Okay. I wanna honor this Angel Liban. Yes, I love this. Number three, tutuloy ko mamaya. I just wanna honor Angel. Sabi ni Angel, Happy Mother's Day to my mother in heaven. Oh, so sad. Nasa taas na, nasa heaven ng kanyang ma. What I learned from her maybe is to share love to other people because I know she loves me so. I don't remember anything. I was I was still young when she's already gone. To those who has still a mother, cherish and enjoy your time with your mom. You'll never get anyone like her. Show love to your parents. Happy Mother's Day sa magulang ni Angel. Grabe. Ano kaya ang pakiramdam, no? And uh, I, I think uh, even from the para mga sinishare na concept, ay kwento ng mga kakilala ko na wala ng mother, is that there's always a hole inside their heart. May maliit talagang emptiness nung nawala yung magulang nila, especially yung mother nila. So, 
I, I don't know, Angel. I, I think your mother is so proud of you. Kahit hindi, hindi mo nasa kasama ngayon. You have an intercessor in heaven. There is someone up above who is also praying for you. Sabi mo na lang, gawin mo na siyang parang tagadasal mo din, di ba? Intercessor ang tawag nila doon. Proud of you, Angel. That's number three. Yun, yun. I am brilliant. That's self-concept. Again, number one I learned from my mother is the value of sacrifice. Number two, faith in God. Number three is that I am brilliant. <laughs> Kailangan, ang ganda lang ng support na ginawa nila na matalino ka, matalino ka, matalino ka hanggang isang araw niwala na talaga ako. Another thing is that I learned is the value of respect, of integrity, of character. Isa yun sa pinakamatinding, pinakamalaki na tutunan ko. Yung isinasabi niya na wag na wag na wag kang magnanakaw kahit piso. Pumunta ka sa ibang bahay, may nakikita ka na akalat na pera, wag na wag mong kukunin yan. I learned that and you know, even when I was in, in, in college and nung nagtrabaho na ako, I always try my very best to be transparent, na maging honest, na irespeto ang mga tao sa paligid ko because I am representing my mother. And whenever I will put into trouble or napahiya ako or may nangyari maganda, hindi maganda, dala-dala niya yun lagi. Maapektuan at maapektuan siya. For example, pag may ginawa akong hindi maganda and di ba kumalat or uh, na, nakulong ako or alam mo yun, kum, parang marami hindi na natuwa ang mga tao sa pinaggagawa ko. So, lagi kong sinasabi, whenever I'm torn to decide, especially sa mga highly ethical na mga bagay, I always ask myself, will my will I make my mom proud when I do this? So, para siyang um, trust na checker. <laughs> okay, integrity check, checker. Di ba? Meron tayong conscience na sinusundan. Gagawin ko ba ito? Tama ba itong gagawin ko na ito? Makaka-apekto ba ito ng maganda sa mga... Mga ganun, di ba? May chinecheck tayo sa sarili natin before we do anything. Pero ako, isa sa mga ginagawa ko is this. Magiging proud ba ang mama ko pag ginawa ko ito? So, mga ganyan. Okay? So, that's one thing that I learned and uh, respect other people because listen carefully. Here's, here's what I learned. Money is important but money is just one form of wealth. Another form of wealth is your relationship. Another form of wealth is your health. Another form of wealth is your spiritual relationship, spirituality. And another form of wealth is your character, your values. And yun ang isa sa natutunan ko sa magulang ko to really protect my life, my character. And as much as possible, I will work every single day to do good to other people. To try to be, you know, to try to be the best person on earth, to be a, to be Jesus in every person, maging mabuting tao, yun ang natutunan ko. And alam ko lahat kayo mga magulang nyo, lagi kayong tinuturuan ng mga ganyan, okay? Sa so, mga bago lang na nanonood, my question here, what is the biggest lesson you learned from your mother? I hope you can share. Babasahin natin dito and we will honor your mother. And... Uh, yes, that's number four. Ang ating pinakahuli naman sa araw na ito is... The biggest lesson I learned from my mother, what's that? It's the value of education. <laughs> the value of education. And maraming mga magulang dito, our parents always push us, di ba? To complete our degree, to study hard, to make good at school, to have nice grades. Yan ang lagi nilang ini-encourage sa atin. So, para sa akin, ito yung pinakamalaking natutunan ko. Ito yung isa sa parang pinaka-top sa lahat-lahat. That I was able to embrace education and I was able to have that commitment to cut poverty that's eating my family for generations because of education. And I'm grateful. Isa man ako ngayong motivational speaker and author. Hindi ko man pre-nactice ang pagiging nurse ko. But I'm still grateful that because I became a nurse, Nagka-first step ako sa buhay. When I became a nurse, I was given a nice job and I was able to save money. I was able to start uh, um, some businesses. So grateful pa din ako na nakapag-aral ako na bilang isang nurse. And kung hindi dahil siguro dun sa pag-aaral na or sa naabot ko, it's very difficult for me. It's very difficult for me to really uh, leap <laughs> or to really change my life. And first step is really education. And I'm an advocate of that. Sa mga recollection, sa mga workshops ko, isa yun sa pinaka-tinuturo ko sa lahat. The value of education. For your sacrifice, have that degree, have a nice paying job, and after that, figure out your dreams. 
tapusin mo lang at least pag uh, just in case hindi mag maging okay or magmanifest yung mga pangarap mo hindi maging totoo yung mga pangarap mo outside sa profession mo at least meron kang fallback you can always go back for example i dreamt of becoming a motivational speaker i want to become an author just in case i will fail wala makakatanggal sa pagiging nurse ko i can always go back that's why education is very important to the to, to the students who will watch this value the chance the opportunity na ibinigay sa inyo ng mga magulang niyo na mag-aral napakaimportante noon okay um happy mothers day to our chatmates thank you for the sharing yes <laughs> um dear amanzina gutierrez sis dina isa mo pagpalang araw sa iyo happy mothers day and also Ati Mel, si mami ko nagturo sa akin magluto at siya din nagturo sa akin paano maging mabuting tao. I love that, Ati Mel. Happy Mother's Day sa iyong mother and uh, natikman ko ang luto mo. <laughs> Masarap ang mga luto ni Ati Mel and I love that. Yun po, ang Bible verse natin is balikan natin, let your father and mother be glad. Let her who bore you rejoice. How will you make, how will you make your mother proud? It's becoming the best person on earth it's becoming the best version of your of, of yourself it's um living your best life yun lang simple yung tanong dun eh sabi sa bible verse let her who bore you rejoice sino nagdala sa sinapupunan daw mag celebrate how will your mother celebrate paano nga ba makapag celebrate ang totoong meaning ng mother's day is yung kapag anak nila is sinabuhay niya lahat ng mga tinuturo the values, okay? Tapos nagtrabaho ng maayos, protekta ng integrity, and work really hard to achieve his or her dreams. Let her who bore, um, nakalagay, let her who bore you rejoice. So yun lamang po. Maraming maraming salamat sa araw na ito. Bago natin tapusin itong live natin, magkakaroon tayo ng dasal. Pagdasal natin ng ating mga parents. Okay lang ba? Can I request everyone to just close your eyes? Feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Just encounter God at this present moment. This is, yeah, remove everything, all the doubts, all the worries. Just focus to God. It's in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our dear never loving God, we glorify you, we praise you, we honor you. We thank you, Lord God, for another day that you've given us, another day to live, another day to glorify you, to live our greatness, to live our brilliance. And Lord God, today is Mother's Day. We just want to offer to you ang buhay ng aming, mga mag, ng aming mga nanay. I lift to you, Lord, the lives of any mother here is watching. Protect her. Bless her. Biyaan mo pa sila, Panginoon. Kasi naniniwala kami ng isa sa pinaka-selfless na tawa ng aming mga nanay, ang aming mga magulang. Lord, sa lahat na nanonood ngayon, sa aming mga buhay pang mga magulang ngayon, bless them. Keep them safe always. Bless whatever works that they are doing now, whatever endeavors that they have. Ilayo mo sila lahat sa kapahamakan, Panginoon. Sa mga magulang po dito, may mga magulang na wala na sa mundo. We pray, Lord God, that you welcome them in your paradise. Lord God, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for the gift of our mothers. And thank you, Lord God, na naging blessing, instrument of your blessings ang aming mga nanay, ang aming mga mothers. We honor you, we glorify you. And nagpapasalamat kami sa isa sa pinakabiyayang, malaking biyayang ibinigay mo sa amin, ang aming mga nanay. Because of them, Lord God, nabigyan kami ng pagkakataw na mabuhay dito sa mundo. Lastly, Panginoon, we pray for the victim of the pandemic. Patuloy kami nagdadasal na sana matapos na, Panginoon, ang pinagdadaanan ng aming mundo. Give uh, wisdom sa ating mga scientists, sa ating government authorities, sa ating mga frontliners. And bless, Lord God, and heal sino man ngayon ang may sakit, ang nag-positive. Also, Lord God, we pray for our economy. We pray for our daily wage earners. Kano pong bahala sa kanila. We surrender everything about the pandemic, about the crisis, Lord God. You control everything. Alam namin yan. Napaka makapangyarihan mo. We know that you have a purpose, that you have a divine purpose. At sa kahinaan namin, sa mga pagkukulang namin, Lord God, we just want to, you know, gusto ka lang namin lapitan, Panginoon, at magpasalamat sa buhay na ito. And all these things we ask through the most powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Tumabol si Lil Maliari. Happy Mother's Day to your mom, mentor. Thank you so, so much. Batiin ko lang lahat ng mga nanood. Sis Dina, thank you so much. Yung mga Ate Mel, Sheila Reyes, Longboan, God bless you. Uh, Chona Averilia, Sotelo, and uh, sino pa ba? Lail, maraming salamat sa panonood. sa lahat po ng mga tumutok, pagpalain pa kayong lahat. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pagpalain pa kayong lahat. Basahin ko sila ulit. Angel, thank you. Ate Mel. And uh, Angel, thank you sa pag-share. And Sis Dina and Lil. God bless everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you tomorrow sa isang episode naman ng ating Lockdown to Look Up series. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I am forever grateful for the love, for the trust, and for the support. And let's nourish our spirit and join hands in prayer that this pandemic will soon end. Pagpalain pa kayong lahat. Bye-bye.